Hey there guys and gals, Melodic Symphony here. Here's Spring Break in the uh, roommates. Everyone's packing their stuff and nobody can stop talking about our trip to the beach house. I'm a little worried that we stopped to pay our own way, but I think I've got enough squirreled away. Luckily, I've got a, a van big enough to carry all of us down there. And since I'm driving, everyone else is chipping in for my gas. You almost ready? Almost, just a couple more things. <laughs> what do you think of this swimsuit? Isabella holds up a skimpy two-piece against her shirt. Damn, I thought the beach house was no smoking. Oh boy, please, I am downright on fire. Anyway, hurry up, we're all itching to get going. Seriously, you ripped that one on purpose. <clears throat> those last three hours, those last three miles were hell. Oh, you're full of it, quit trying to blame it on me. Come on guys, we're here, it doesn't matter anymore, or... Our lungs will probably grow back. It's fine. Ha! Ah, I love these, like, sassy introductions Isabella has on occasion. Ha! Huh. It was a long 15-hour trip, but we finally made it. The beach house sits before us, and the ocean sits just on the other side of it. It's pretty late. What do we want to do? Well, let's just get settled into the house first. I want to see what the room situation is like. So, are we really the only ones here all week? Yeah, unfortunately, Roxanne and the others had to bow out. They couldn't afford their own transportation. I'd feel bad, but this place doesn't really look big enough for all of us anyways. Anna's right. This house looks pretty cozy. Once we've got the door open and the place scouted out. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong, but it would have worked if I just continued anyways, whatever. It looks like there are only three bedrooms. Each has a king-size bed in it, but still. Well, I suppose we can split off into pairs, and maybe someone can use the couch out here. Actually, let's use two of the rooms for three people. We can go girls and boys. Wait, wait why wouldn't we use all the rooms? I look at Isabella, who gives me a quick nod. And suddenly I know exactly what she's thinking. Well, because, numbnuts, we've already got a perfectly good split here. Why mess up all of the rooms? Um, because it's ours for the week? That means we have to be rude? Pfft, no, no. It's much better if we leave one of the rooms empty, where we know that none of the others will be in. <laughs> where everyone knows that we shouldn't go into that room, especially without knocking. Dominic looks between us, and as a realization, slowly dawns on his face. I'm just saying it's a long week, lots of folks about. Come on, douche Nick, catch the hint already. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You two are gross. Whatever, fine. Isabel and I high five as everyone settles into the house. Everyone splits up across male or female, setting their stuff down and making their sleeping arrangements. All right, boys, let's lay our crap down. I figured there'd be a bed situation, so I've got my sleeping bag with me. Are you sure you're not just planning on spending the week in somebody else's bed? Hey, the week is young, my demoted friend. The week is young, and so are those hotties out on the beach. Dominic rolls his eyes while Rakesh shakes his head. I throw my bedroll on the floor while Dominic and Rakesh eye the bed. Ugh, I've slept in worse places. Let me see if I can find a view, a few blankets, and I'll take the other side of the bed. Dominic walks out to find a linen closet. Ooh, this is so exciting. No, that's so rude. It's gonna be a blast, bro. Yes, my friend, we will party hard. You know it, my man. I go to give Rakesh a fist bump, but I don't know if he's gotten that one yet, so it's just most. It's mostly just kind of an awkward handshake. Still, he's grinning. I'm grinning, and it should be a lot of fun. I like the one scene they actually get like a bag view of someone because you're like, I know who that's supposed to be, but no, no. All right, let's call it a night. Gents, we have a long week. Get the lights, would you, Max? Oh, damn, Rakesh. Damn. Yes, turn out the lights, Max. I'm sure nothing will happen in the dark. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> This is starting to look worse and worse by the second. Oh, if it's hair-raising tails you're looking for. We all settle in for some fun on our first night, and hopefully the last night I'll be spending in a bed alone during this trip. Come on, everyone. The beach isn't going to lie all over itself. 
First one there gets to rub the suntan lotion on my back. Everyone's up and dressed for some fun on the beach. Sally cooked up some great ve uh, vegan pancakes for breakfast. I have to admit, I'm looking forward to spending some of the day on the beach. Our first day here, we basically just went to a nearby town and picked up supplies. We found a nice little outlet mall. Sally and Dominic wanted to look through it a bit. And so we ended up spending our day in town just enjoying the local flavor. Today is promising to be some fun on the beach. The sky is clear and the water is warm. Oh, I can't wait. Now, this is my idea of a good week off. Our section of the beach is private, but I've still got more than an eyeful with the ladies running around. And the incredibly unlikely chance I get bored, I can just walk a little ways over and be on the public property. And suddenly it's girls galore. Rakesh and Sally are looking over the water. It looks like they're just thinking about going in first. No, Rakesh, you're not gonna be able to snorkel in here. It's too shallow. I suppose looking at it, you may be right. Still, I would like to explore and see. Anne and Isabella are sitting under a beach umbrella, putting on their various creams. Anne's got a couple of books next to her, and it looks like she knows what she's doing today. Meanwhile, I'm trying to help Dushnik set up a net for some beach volleyball. No, it has to go on the third rung, you dumbass. Otherwise, it's just going to be too low. It's a net, not a limbo stick. Oh, shut up, jackass. If you don't get it straight, then we won't be doing anything with it. Oh, Rakesh, shake that pretty ass, boy. Behave, Isabella. Come on, Rakesh. Let's see how deep it gets out there. Watch out for the undertow, you two. <clears throat> it's nice to have the whole house out here. Getting along and enjoying the beach. You know, it almost feels like we've got our own nice little family. <clears throat> Sorry. And a few hours later, everyone's gathered around the deck table with another great lunch properly finished off. Thanks for the meal, Rakesh. That was great. Yeah, man, good job. Though I'm eyeing that grill. I think we may have to fire that up tonight. We bought charcoal, right? <laughs> yeah, and some hamburger and veggie patties. Well, that sounds delicious, too. I'm going to end up stuffing myself silly this week. Well, then we're just going to have to exercise that much harder. <laughs> True. We should do something now. Hey, let's put that volleyball net to good use. What do you folks say? I'm game. Let's do it. I'll lead one team. Don't you get enough trying to hurt cats being RRA? And I still don't understand what that term means. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to stop until I whip you into shape. The rest of us decide it's not worth it. It's not worth it to argue with him and let him lead one of the teams. Sally volunteers to lead the other one. The two confer for a moment before turning to us with their team selections. Okay, we discuss what seems fair, and, it's, and for the teams, it's me, Rakesh, and Anne for team one, and for team two, it's Sally, Isabella, and any stray hobos they can pick up. Sally elbows Dominic in the ribs. Come on, Max and Isabella, let's clobber these suckers. Isabella and I cheer and high-five while we walk over to Sally. The three of us huddle on our side of the net to make some strategy. Okay, Max, we're going to be our first server. We know Anne's their weak point, so try to pick her out if you can. Don't don't be mean, though, okay? All's fair in love and war. Ha, <laughs> calm it down there, Top Gun. We've got this. You've got a good height advantage. Just spike that ball whenever you can. I now as we put our hands in the middle and pull them up with a cheer. Your chump's ready for the fire. Oh, don't get too cocky, Missy. We, we've got brawn and brains to spare. Pfft, you mean you've gone spare? We have spare tires in our brains. Everyone just looks at Rakesh for a moment, but decides to let it pass. Let's say we make this interesting, folks. Oh, what are you thinking? Um... Let's say the winning team gets out of cleaning duties for the rest of the trip. Oh yes, I will enjoy all my extra free time. Ha, huh, you wish. Dominic fishes a quarter out of a pocket and flips it. He points to me and says to call it. Luckily, Tails doesn't fail me and it's our turn to fur. Our turn first. Dominic crosses me the ball, and it looks like it's my serve. I'm not serving a tank, she's gonna bunt it. Unless she does. I'm like pretty sure for Isabella's you have to win. I'm not entirely sure though, so don't fool me. I throw the ball and smack it over the net towards Rakesh. He's actually surprisingly on his toes and bumps it towards Dominic, who's just waiting for it. 
I want to see which one wins. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> I had to make sure it was right, okay? Don't yell at me. I haul back and serve the ball as hard as I can straight at Dushnik's face. I came a couple inches short, but I can see his face sour. He knows exactly what I was doing. I try not to laugh as he just barely sets the ball. Rakesh leaps up to tap the ball over the net, but Sally is right on the other side and powers the ball home to their side. Bam! Nice one, Sally! One point our side. We rotate positions with Dominic serving this time. He tosses the ball and does a jump serve right to Isabella. Isabella laughs as she easily returns the ball back over the net. We get a couple of good volleys in, Rakesh almost spikes one home, but a last minute dive by Sally saves it. Suddenly, just as I'm figuring out that Dominic's jump towards the net is a fake out for Anne bumping it over, I realize that the ball's coming right for me and I need to score here. I watch Rakesh and Anne. Sorry, I had to look at those and I was like, oh, I don't know. I watch Rakesh and Anne's eyes on me. They know I'm going to try to spike it. I see Isabella's in perfect position. I get under the ball and set it straight to her. Isabella grins and takes a running leap of the ball. I watch in awe as she manages to mistime her jump and completely send the ball into the net. Ooh, nothing but net. Oh, shut up, Dominic. It wasn't funny the first three times. After another half hour, we're all feeling hot and sweaty, but it's been great exercise. Sally's team has scored 13 to Dominic's 13. We're getting really close to match point, but it's my serve again. I have a chance to maybe end this game right here since we're only playing to 15. Now, where to serve it this time? Ah, uh, I don't think this will work, whatever. Anne's been pretty weak this whole game, but Rakesh and Dominic have been covering her defensively. It's likely, it's like they figure I'm going to aim there. And everyone knows when you see a trap, walk into it. They'll never expect it. I serve the ball high and fast right towards Anne. I watch in growing horror as Dominic steps slyly in front of her and sets the ball. Rakesh jumps at the net and dives at home right past our defenders. You know, I, I should have expected that. Whatever, Rakesh. Because I know it's not going to be Dominic twice. I know those two have been covering Anne this whole game, and I think Dominic is expecting another cheap shot. I rear up and slap the ball home right to Rakesh. I watch as the ball sails right past him and smacks into the sand on the inside edge of the boundary line. Woo! Aced it! I'd love to say that our match had an epic final point, but it really didn't. The serve went up just fine, even had a few volleys, but at the last minute, Dominic went for a simple bump and slipped in the sand. The ball landed harmlessly to his left, and we'd scored the final point. Everyone laughed and cheered as the final point was scored. I throw my arms out, and Isabella and Sally come over for a congratulatory hug, and I try not to let my grin get too big. Great game, suckers! Have fun cleaning up. I believe it's time for me to get back to my tanning. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have some fun too. Good game, everyone. The final tally was Dominic's 13 to Sally's 15. I wander over to the water and took a few moments to stretch. That was a lot of fun, and I really can't wait to see what the rest of the week will hold. The last two days have been incredible. I've been hanging out with my friends on and off the beach, and this has probably been the best vacation of my life. Skimpy outfits, hot sun, a chance to show off here and there. It's been awesome. It's all the more disappointing that tomorrow we'll have to pack up and head back to the dorm. Still, I've got one more day to spend here, and I'm going to make sure it's the best caper yet. I think everyone's had the same thought, though, actually, and after Dominic made everyone breakfast, we all split up to sort of do our own thing. I've gotten a good breakfast and a good shower in, and now I just need to figure out what to do with my day. I walk out onto the deck and take a brief moment to watch over the waves. It's beautiful here. I can see where Professor Task bought it, and why he wanted to keep it for himself. Hmm, where did everyone go today? I think Rakesh went to the garage. He's probably painting something in there. He shouldn't be. Isabella's probably went to fall asleep on the beach. Sally built a bird feeder late Wednesday, so she's probably out getting that set up. And I think Anne went back inside to read by the window. I guess it is a bit cooler inside. 
I know that the last quarter of the year is coming up. I probably won't have another chance to get some good alone time with someone. And if I don't make something happen right now, nobody's going to have time to try to make it happen later. I walk outside and head towards the beach. There's a nice stretch between some high rock outcroppings that Isabella fell in love with almost immediately. As I come around the wall, I can see her laying out under her blanket, out on her blanket under the umbrella. Damn, just when I thought it couldn't get any hotter at the beach. Hmm? Oh, hey, hot stuff. You're looking pretty good yourself. <laughs> hey, if you got it, flaunt it. And I got it in spades. You know what I mean. Isabella laughs while looking me up and down. I don't suppose you still need suntan lotion. Hmm, sorry, I'm good. But, oh, beach fun. Whoa, that picture. Okay, that's a whole different style even. But I bet you didn't put any on before you came out here, did ya? You idiot. Guilty as charged, I got overexcited at the thought of coming to see you. Well, I hope you can hold some of that excitement. Ladies don't like a guy who can't hold his excitement long enough. Oh, don't worry, Isabella. You can keep me excited for as long as you need. <laughs> Come over here and lay down. I lay down on the blanket next to where Isabella had just been flopping down on my belly. Uh oh, where Isabella had just been flopping down on my belly. Isabella picks up one of her bottles and slathers her hands with the lotion. One of the benefits of knowing the football team their very cute doctor showed me some massaging techniques. She showed me where to find trouble spots. As I'm laying there, Isabella starts rubbing my back. At first, she's just putting the lotion on, and after a few moments, she begins rubbing me more in earnest. I let, a, let out a small sigh, she starts breaking in some of the stress spots in my back. <laughs> Can't quite reach from here. I feel Isabella's weight shift, and suddenly she's straddling my back sitting on my hips, still rubbing the lotion in and giving me a massage as well. Damn, Max, you're pretty well cut for a slacker musician. Hey, I take care of myself. Nobody's gonna throw their panties for a big slob up on stage. Oh, I think you would definitely be worth a few thrown panties. <laughs> well, if you're offering, that feels fantastic, by the way. Oh yeah, right there. I can feel Isabelle's weight shifting as she sits up. That's got your back, but we can't leave your front out. You'll tan unevenly. I grin as I roll over onto my back. Isabel smiles at me as she sits back down across my hips. Her hands reach for my chest and begin to massage. Her hands linger lovingly across my pecs, tracing the lines of my abdominals. You've made a bad mistake here, hot stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep my hands off of you. <laughs> then I haven't made a mistake at all. I know we tease, Max, but I'm single again. More than that... You've actually been completely amazing. I mean, you've had every reason to go off and do your own thing, but you've still just been awesome to me. I appreciate that. Isabel is still rubbing her hands across my chest. Her hands gently knead and push on my muscles. It feels great. And as she speaks up, though, she starts moving her hips back and forth. Just a little bit up there. Oh, gosh. I am so sorry. I actually unplugged my headset from my speaker. There we go. That was, that was embarrassing, I'm sorry. Just a little bit at first, but I can see her face flushing as she continues to wrap her arms along my chest, and her flushed slit up against my growing bulge. What? How can you see that? What? But I can see her face flushing as she continues to rub her arms along my chest, and her flushed slit up against my growing bulge. I don't think you would be able to see that. We've been circling around each other since day one, hot stuff. What do you say? You ready to relieve all that tension we've been building up? I gotta warn you. Dating me may just wear you out, buddy boy. I'm not so easily satisfied as your flighty groupies. She says it with a grin, but there's a hesitation in her voice. Her crotch is moving a little more now. Her hand's moving across my arms. There's a question of acceptance in her tone, and I know what my answer is. I move her hands aside, grab her head, and bring it down to my own. Our lips meet hard and fast. Isabella is every bit as aggressive and hungry as I am. Our lips seek each other out, and soon our tongues are entwined, exploring. Isabella nips my lip playfully, 
pulling it a little as she sits back up. So, I take it you think you can handle me. <laughs> I'm ready for whatever you want to give. Are you ready for me? <laughs> More than I think you know. Isabella sits up and I can see how excited she is through her swimsuit. Well, since we're both going to work on our tans anyways, I know how I hate unsightly tan lines. <laughs> Out here? <laughs> I thought you said you were ready for me. Oh, there's a little slip there. I might actually have to blur that, I think. Oh, damn it. Isabella teases me, undoing the back of her top while holding the cups in place. Her hips are moving again, and I can't keep the grin off my face. I've been ready for you for a while now. And as Isabella tosses her top to the side, I sit up to meet her in another speedy kiss. Uh, did that say needy? In another needy kiss. I am. I apologize. 30 minutes later, I finally find where she tossed her top and reluctantly hand it back to her. That was incredible, you know. <laughs> You're telling me. So I guess the question is, are we together now or is that just a sample? Oh, trying to back out of this already, are you? Love him and leave him, eh, Max? <laughs> nice try. You're stuck with me now. You've always been fun to be around, and... But if we ever get to have sex like that... <laughs> well, nice to know you like me outside of what I can do in the bedroom. <laughs> what bedroom? I mean, seriously, we went to the trouble of making sure there'd be a sex room, and now look what happens. <laughs> Believe me, Isabella. I am no lovesick puppy. Do you really think I would have stuck around for this long if I didn't like you as a person? I'm not quite that bad. Or that hard up. Isabella laughs as I sit back down next to her, extending an arm over her shoulder as we both look out over the water for a bit longer. Together. Well, vacation's not over yet. I'm sure we can make sure that room doesn't go to waste. I sit next to Isabella until the breeze starts to blow through the secluded cove. It gets a little chilly, and so we decide to pack it in. Okay, the stats have changed. I'm like 90% sure I'm almost there anyways. Yeah, 320, yeah. Then there's the 600, which I think might be different for Max. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to go double check, but oh well. Oh, uh, um, yes. I think, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that worked fine. And apparently, um, I was actually going all intuitively this time. And it actually worked really well. So, that's good. Yay. Uh, yeah, that's spring break. I'm going to take a break from recording because I can feel my voice is trying to kill itself. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, let me do a proper outro because that was weird. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you all in the next one.